गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ज्ञान ज्योति ऑनलाइन क्लासेस क्लास सेवन इंग्लिश ग्रामर चैप्टर ट्वेंटी वन एंड टॉपिक इज काइंड ऑफ क्लॉजेस ये क्लॉज द क्लॉज इज ए फ्रेज इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स आई वर्क ऑनलाइन फ्रेज ए क्लॉज एज ए सब्जेक्ट प्रेडिकेट एंड एक्सपाइंड फॉर लेट्स सी फ्रेज एंड डिफरेंट क्लॉज ऑफ सिंपल दिस इज फ्रेज Phrase has no subject. Phrase has no predicate and no final verb. But here, clauses of which means subject, was, verb, which was made of singular, that is, was made of singular, that is, predicate part. Okay, filled with tears, phrase. But her eyes were filled with tears, that is, clause, hot days. This is phrase. But who went through this torture of hot days? That is, clause. By which he, that is phrase, no subject, no clause, no predicate, so no uh, verb, uh, infinite verb, no predicate part. That is called phrase. But when accompanied by which he, that is subject, infinite verb, and phrase, uh, predicate part. So that is, I can say, that is uh, clause. So student, you can see one of the sentences. Balita lifted me a tree. It was made of silver. You can see in this sentence that in this sentence we can see Balita gave me a tree that is a man cross. What is it? Man cross. But it was made of silver that is subordinate clause. Do you know uh, what is subordinate clause or the uh, dependent clause? Without this uh, clause, this clause is incomplete. That's why that is part of the main clause. But it is a me a tree. It can be stand by itself. So uh, it is complete sense by itself and it is a complete sentence. Therefore, it is the principle of the main clause. But it was made of silver. That is a dependent clause. With uh, we cannot uh, we have to make which yes. So when it is a me a tree, which was made of silver by using which it will be of which of the okay. We can make a subordinate clause. It's clear to understand that we can create subordinate clause by the easy. So I can make one of the sentences and I can make some clear. That you understand. One of the sentences I can make. Her aunt did not utter a word. Her aunt did not. In the war, okay. But her eyes were filled with tears. But her eyes were filled with tears. You can see this sentence. Her aunt did not utter a word. That is the main clause. But eyes were filled with tears. That is. Saw a linen clause, and this is the can stand by itself alone. Then independent clause, but it is dependent upon this main clause. So you have to know clause in group of words, which is a subject, a predicate, and a final verb. It's okay, but here the, you can see it has no. Uh, it is saw a linen clause, a independent clause, a main clause. So we have to know the dependent clause and independent clauses. Are joined by subordinating conjunctions. Do you know conjunction is joining words? What are the words? Just like yes, after, then because. Many the words. It, if, that, though, although, where, wherever, so that, unless. These are the conjunctions. In by adding this conjunction, we can join subordinate clauses with uh, main clauses with subordinate clauses. For example, we can write. She said that she said that she had read a book. She had read the. And in this 
Se ele tem assim, se isso é um ruim de já ele está na reação. Se é de água, não é só para ele, é para os outros. E depende de nós, vai ter dois clodes juntos para a gente, que nós podemos fazer dois clodes juntos para a gente. Então, nós podemos discutir que 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 nós podemos These are all the conjunctions can join the many clothes and subordinate clothes. So it is easy to understand. I hope you have discussed about this point. I have understood. So students, we will discuss about the three types of clauses here. In you know, there are three types of clauses. What are they? Three clauses. One is noun clause. Technology and clause, adjective clause, and ad hoc clause. So we shall discuss about one by one, three clauses, stay as today. So okay, you all understand what I tell to you. Students, so first of all I have to discuss about the noun clause. You have to know a clause. That functions like a noun in a sentence. Functions like a noun in a sentence. Pura hi noun ka rule leta hai. And it often acts as a subject or the object of the verb is called a noun. So now we see, first of all sentence, the precedent of the noun. This is acting as a subject. Okay? The precedent of the noun. Inaugurate the function. Let's see. So this is acting as a subject. Next point. Pretty enjoys playing the clarinet. You can see all these are a noun clause. Yeah, Pretty enjoys playing the clarinet. So <coughs> here you can a clause that functions uh, uh, like a noun in a sentence and often acts as a subject or the object in the verb is called a noun clause. We can make another sentence. We can make another sentence to make it clear. Whoever wins the race. So next student we shall discuss about adjective clause. You have to know adjective clause here to my make sentence. Mansi has a coaching who is a surfer of Hawaii. Mansi has a 
So by using who, which and that, this is a related pronoun used to make related clauses or that is called relative adjective. So I hope you have understood what I discussed. You have to understand well. The next one I will discuss about the adjective clause, how it is made. Sometimes adjective clauses are introduced by preposition relative pronouns. Preposition plus relative pronoun. Yes, just like by whom. Position, through position, from position, 
on the position, just like one of the cells there. Uh, this cell is the house. This is the house from where? From where? We heard those songs. Another sentence I can make that is the tambo. On which? Can you see the position on which? The man cried. So we can say the equation that we can now use to make the relative uh, clause or adjective clause. So students, did you all understand about the relative clause or adjective, adjective clause? So now students, we shall discuss about adverb clause. So adverb clause is a subordinate clause. We journeyed. We journeyed. Is the only route. The only route to the place. The translation is the tunnel through which. Yes, this is function as an adverb. Okay, so we can make Anu asks another sentence. Anu asked me how to bake a chocolate cake. You can see in this sentence, Ali asked me how to bake, how to make a space, how to bake a chocolate cake. So, are we another sentence? We return home before. So the highlighted clauses, just like how to bake a chocolate cake and before it got to dark, yeah, the highlighted clauses act as adverb in these sentences. So they are called adverb clauses. How or when adverb clauses answer the question before. So what is adverb clause? Adverb. 
clauses answers the questions what when where when when why and how so these are all called and how clauses just here no? how on marks we how to be the choice okay, this is the question how asking how so <coughs> So I have discussed it to everything. I hope you did all well understand this point. So yes, students, adverb clauses may be classified.
and the closure box and the closure tile and the closure place next point is the closure of region next point region I said this is about next point is region so the first point I discussed and the closure of region for the point I discussed you can see I can make a sentence I went there I went there because she called me So students, as I have taught you all these points the, about the clauses, I have told you the clauses is the, the has a subject, then uh, finite verb, then predicate part. It is a dependent clause. That's why it's called subordinate clause. That cannot be its own clause. With, without the help of main clause so main clause then comes subordinate clause that is three types I told you noun clause then adjective clause and adverb clause these are the three types of clauses and according to use you have to know which one is noun clause noun clause shows describe more about the noun yes about noun is the naming words and which describe our adjective clause it describes the more description about the adjective noun that is called 
add adjective clause and adverb clause is that is the describes more describe or modify the noun ad verb adverb another adverb and adjective these are all the points i discuss you so also you have to remember about the expression of the word just i can say adverb clause of purpose by using like that in order to show that etc adverb clause of time by using when whenever while after before since as long as as soon as until that is adverb clause of time adverb clause of place is when whether wherever uh, when whether these are the adverb clause of place you have to remember the adverb clause of region when then subordinate adverb clause express the region or cause of something yeah that is called region then after so close and these clauses are introduced by the subordinate conjunction as that because and since then another clause of result or effects just like so and such by g this conjunction and last one adverb clause of condition by using if unless in case on the condition and provided that these are all the remember part here to read this again again and i hope you what i have discussed if you practice more you will get a good result hope you will good day and goodbye